you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. The Jets looking against the half wall. Hangs on to the puck. And now it's grabbed by Morrissey. Puck scooped up by Dreisaitl. Poked away at center by Shifley. Receives the pass. Stones him with the blocker. Big stop by the keeper. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Winnipeg's got it and they're on the attack. Edmonton's going on the attack as they gain the zone. And that's stopped by Hellebuck. Quick feed to Kopp. Quick shot! Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Lays out with the glove. How can he get up? Oh. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Wheeler. Moves it to Anderson. And that pass doesn't go. And there's the whistle icing the call. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Yamamoto's going to play against the half wall. Lemieux's got the puck along the wing. Fires it. Well saved made by Skinner. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Lays the body into that play. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Doesn't look like much, but the defensemen are helped out by this puck being in the corner. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Skinner's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, he got puddled by Skinner. And he takes a shot. And that's off target as it hits a body. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Well, if you don't know you're in the game, you do now. That's a good hit. Great use of the twig. He's got a step. He scores! Two! Sweet! A quick check of the shoulder to make sure that he's in clear, and then it's focus on the net. A nice fake, a nice move, a nice shot, and it's in the back of the cage. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Nice pass. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Let's see what the official says here. Oh, you can see the frustration right away, James. Short-handed now, and only a one-goal lead. Chance to capitalize here on the power play. Down by one, now you've got a power play. Make sure that you're organized and look for the tying goal. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, that's poked away the offensive zone by Schmidt. Scoops up the puck behind the net. The Jets have it behind the net. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Skinner. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Ryan's going to play it from the back of the cage. Hellebuck's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. 
Shifley's ready for the draw in this man advantage. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Wheeler. Puts it on the Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. One last rush here on this power play. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Great poke check on the reach. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. CeCe's time is almost done. Edmonton's back to even strength as they've killed off the penalty. Well, there are times you look for your power play, at the very least, to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Skinner's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Dreisaitl's good at making accurate passes with his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. It's how he sets up his teammates for success. Connor's known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. Those are two players I'm going to watch closely to see if one of them could be a difference maker for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. Penalty coming up here. No matter how the game's played, special teams play a big part. you got a one-goal lead. It's your penalty killer's time now. Winnipeg's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, the power play gets another opportunity. They haven't been super busy tonight, but here's a chance to get on the board. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Looking to break out here on the power play. Moves it to Wheeler. Passes it to Shifley. Moves it quickly over to Connor. Edmonton's got the puck shorthanded. Taken along the wall by Kopp. Dishes it to Wheeler. Poked away in the neutral zone by Nurse. Quick pass across to Connor. And now he angles it across to Shifley. Feeds the puck over to Connor. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, and he gets a two on that one to keep it out. Skinner's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Downside still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Jets don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Into the corner of the attacking area. Stones him in front. Saucer pass. The Jets remain a goal behind as they fail to convert on the power play. Well, even down a man, I like their aggressiveness. Their penalty killers have done a nice job tonight. In close! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Tries to the crease! Denies him! Well, that's a good save here, James. I mean, he's got to read the play to get into position to make this stop. A difficult one from the slot. Shot! with the club by Skinner. Here in the later stages of this period, Edmonton's ahead, 1-0. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Tosses it on to Pugliarvi. Poked away at center by Toninato. Tries to feed it over to Dreisaitl. It's a chance on the rush. Two on one. Great save by Hellebuck. Winnipeg's across the blue line. To his teammate. And he makes the save. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. The Jets look to start the transition game. Looks to pass it to Pitlick. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Down the right side and into the zone. Sends a pass in front. 
Ryan's won the draw. Slides it back to the blue line. Takes a shot. Oh, great save there. Here's a short pass to Morrissey. The Jets take it along the wing. Dumps it in. The Oilers have it against the wall. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Lowry. Gets it to the other point. Here's a chance. Quick stop by Skinner. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back in the morning. Seeds teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. McDavid's best chances come when he's moving his legs, guys. His wheel zone ability is that blazing speed that he uses to zip by defenders and get the looks that he wants. Puck picked up by Pareko. Dumps it into the ozone. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Now into the offensive zone for the right side. Quick feed to Barry. Dreisaitl's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. The Jets carry it along the wall. And a stiff break setup. Maintains possession. Scooped up along the wall by Dreisaitl. Throws it in. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. Angles it over to Shifley. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Simple stop by Skinner. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Edmonton's up one zip. The Jets will go to work here in the offensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Oh, and it's just wide of the net and they'll play on. He's going to shake his head when he sees this because he's, he's in as good a scoring spot as you're going to get to all night. And he just misses the net. And the puck's not loose. And now he tries to get it across to Kopp. Takes the feed from the left side. And a good solid hit on that play. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Hammers a shot, makes a save. Hellebuck's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around if the shift gets long. This helps. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Oilers lead it 1 0. Edmonton's won the draw and they'll go to work. Moves it to Cassian. From one point man to another. And he's able to handle that one. The score! Right on Udorski. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. Edmonton's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay on it. Don't back up. Winnipeg's won the draw. Poked away in the neutral zone by Ryan. Quick pass to Lowry. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Feeds it over to Bouchard. Moves it up. Pokes it away in his own end. 
picked up along the wall by Baudet. The Jets have it now. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. And that's broken up. And he regains control of the puck. Tries to get it over to Cassian. Looking to set up offensively. They put the puck into the offensive end. And it's kicked away. Puck battle along the boards. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. And now it's over to Tau. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tony Nato. And he takes the feed. Scores! And that's three unanswered goals on their part. Wow! Once you get one, you feel a little bit of a momentum come to your team. Now you got a couple and then a third. You feel like you're just going to carry this game and walk away with it. The Jets win the draw here in the neutral zone. Tries to get it to Pareko. Cuts into the paint. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Here's a short pass to Pitlick. Solid hit on the play. Here he comes. In on the breakaway. Oh, did he overthink it? Did he ever? I mean, he ends up almost in a position you can't even get the puck to the net. That's just too much time and too many thoughts. Nothing really decisive about that play. Nice job tying up his opponent. Poked away. Doc's got it along the wing. Here's a chance. Sends it in front. Nice poke check. And the puck skips away after that move. Tries that last move. Maybe he should just shoot the puck or get it deep. Got a chase now. Scrum along the wall. And the puck's kicked free. And now he moves it to Dreisaitl. Slides the puck to Pugliarvi. Quick snap! Denies him in front. Oh, did he punish him for going into the corner on that play? Here's a shot. How did he stop that one? Great A chance right in the middle of the ice and the goaltender makes the stop. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Tries to get the puck to Shifley. Quick feed to Doc. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Sherratt's got the puck in his own zone. Slides it diagonally to Pugliarvi. Takes the feed. And here's the pass to Anderson. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Edmonton's looking to break out. And now he angles it across to Anderson. Here's a pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Centering pass. Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot. The Jets played along the wing. And now he moves it quickly to Holden. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Cox. Fails to find the open man. Hyman's taking it from his own end. Slides the puck to Bouchard. The Oilers played along the boards. Moves it to Wheeler. Now a quick pass to Perfetti. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Leads into him. Wow, did he? All alone. On the break away. Oh, what a stop between the pipes. He is dialed in. He really is, James. The shooter's in a position to deliver the puck to either side of the net. And it's like the goalie has got everything smothered. He's right on it. The Jets win it. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Here's the break away. Pokes it away. Oh, what a gamble on the play. I think he surprised the shooter. He went to the poke check, and the puck's gone. The Jets take it along the wall. Redirected. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. That 
Springs period number two to an end. Uh, the ice resurfacers coming out onto the ice. They'll give it a little cleaning, and I can see Ray Ferraro down there between the benches tap dancing. I can only imagine where he needs to go. Third period, just around the corner. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's do this. It has been a thorough dismantling through the first 40 minutes. Let's see if they can try to change that here in the third. 40 minutes into the books. Ray, what do you make of the night so far? Winnipeg's been shaking their head for about an hour as they keep watching this goalie kick one shot after another out of the way. What a tremendous goaltending performance, but you've got to find a way to break through that. Poked away by Pareko. The Jets will play it in their own end. Now over to Connor. Quick pass to McDavid. Taken by Puyo Yarby. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Hillebuck. And the puck's booted away. Gains the zone from the right side. And he comes up with it. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Poked away at center by Pareko. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. And now he tries to get it across to Connor. And the puck departs the zone. Offside the call will get a reset. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. 3-0 is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night. The other, not so much. Loose puck battle along the boards. Winnipeg's got the puck. Shot! Scores! The captain delivers! The Jets still have a big hill to climb here, but they got one back, Ray. They're going to have to get their D up into the play, take a couple of chances. One is not going to do it. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Sends a pass over. That's blocked by Skinner. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Lowry's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Musa quickly over to Yamamoto. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Looks to make a play over to Lemieux. Takes it to the front. Gets a glove on it to make the stop. He had to be quick there. I mean, that's right in the slot. Dangerous chance. And the glove gets the job done. Still lots of time left in the period. The Jets are down a pair. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Skinner's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. The Oilers win the draw. Battling for it along the boards. Sends it down low. Huge steal in his own end. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Dumps the puck in. The Jets will play the puck from behind the net. Sends it over to Nash. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. He grabs the puck here at the point. Takes it into the slot. Quick stop by Hillebuck. Quick pass over to Pitlick. Poked away in the neutral zone by Sherratt. CeCe's lugging the puck. And he slides it quickly to Perlini. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Directs it on over to Perlini. Handles the puck. And that goes off a player. And some good footwork to kick it away. Here we go. Two on one. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. 
Poked away at center by Kopp. Sends it into the offensive zone. Edmonton's gained possession. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Steps inside. Winnipeg's got control of the puck. Sends the pass over. Moves inside! And it's a one goal game! You want to make this thing believable for yourself, you've got to get away from that two goal deficit. They've got it here, and now they'll look for the time goal. Winnipeg's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. They take possession oh, as he locks them up off the faceoff. Get a little physical there with that collision. And the puck's not loose. Sends it quickly to Morrissey. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a short pass to Doc. And that carries off a body in the lane. Knocked away with the stick by Morrissey. Picked up along the boards by Doc. From point blank. Point blank stopped by Skinner. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Past the midway mark in this period. The Jets still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. This is it to Yamamoto. Quick feed to Shifley. Slides the puck into the offensive Whoa. zone. A few moments ago, James, that was a big hit. With possession along the wall. Battle along the boards. And it's kicked away. Slides it over to Morrissey. Slick feed. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And that's blocked from someone in front. Holden's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Morrissey. That's it out of midair using great hand-eye coordination. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Moves into the slot. Oh, what a stop by Hillebuck. Tracked that puck really well. The puck gets passed to the slot, and he has to make the save on a dangerous chance. From off the wall and onto a stick. Manages to hang on. We got a whistle offside the call. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bade. Dreisaitl's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Slides it on over to Nash. From the point, they take control of it. Can't make the connection on the pass. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Late goings of this period. It's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Bouchard's got it in the defensive end. Knocked away. On the attack along the boards. Lowry stick handling in his own zone. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Kleppbaum. Oh, what a little stick lift from the play. He comes up with the puck. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Special teams are always going to be a big part of any game. The penalty killers take center stage now with a one-goal lead. The Jets once again send out their power play unit. They've got great puck skill on this power play. What's available, I think, is the cross-crease one-timer. And now it's grabbed by Cox. And he had the answer on that one. Ryan. Winnipeg's lugging the puck behind their own net. And now it's over to Connor. And he sends it across to Shifley. Morrissey's moving the puck through his own zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Winnipeg's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. The Jets have it behind the net. 
and tries to make a diagonal pass to Carter. Uses the force on that hit. Gets it out of his own end. Tosses it to Shifley. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. And with that win, they push them to the brink of elimination. This is such a critical game in a series. So pivotal. You get up three games to two. Now you got a couple of cracks to put this away. And you know your opponents are going to be feeling the pressure now.